Hi, I'm Stu. And I'm Lynn. And we're Hi Fi Pig. Uh, we're here with the weekly Hi Fi news that we're going to be doing every week on a Friday. Uh, last week we came from the Northwest Audio Show. And to start off this week, we're going to talk a little bit about our highlights of the show. Uh, so, what were your highlights, Lynn? Well, I was really looking forward to hearing the new big Amphion speakers, the Krypton X3, and they're in the Auden distribution room with. Uh, Bill Lee and um, they didn't disappoint that was a really really lovely system and a lot of people said that was one of the best sounds of the show and one of their highlights um, on a smaller scale I was also really impressed with the new little neat speakers um, the neat Cl neat mystique classic they were really really good <laughs> get my mouth around that one um but yeah they were great massive sound from little speakers which is what bob and neat do exceptionally well um and also the the room with larson that was the um audio motion room they had a really nice little system in there and that was pretty spectacular um but there was just so much and it was just the level of um the effort that was put into the rooms was brilliant. Um, Chris and the team did a fabulous job as usual. And it was just a very, very enjoyable weekend. And what about you, Stu? What were your highlights? Uh, for me, I think the highlights were seeing everybody. Um, as we said before the show, it's a very sort of family oriented uh, show. There was lots of couples there as well, which I thought was really cool. Uh, from the systems, uh, I think it's a bit don't really want to pick any individuals out because everybody put loads of effort into it. But the Auden room with Hegel and Amphion, that sounded absolutely incredible with Jake Purchase's uh, organ music, which he records in different cathedrals and what have you. I thought that was really, really impressive. And those speakers, I think, are about 17 grand and they're very, very good. I thought the Auralic room with the ATCs was very, very good. And what I liked about this year particularly, and what I noticed this year's year particularly, and I've criticised in the past, was the number of people in the rooms that were running the rooms that actually engaged with people and asked them if they've got any questions. And that was good to see. Um, there was absolutely loads of it. And if you get a chance to go to the uh, Northwest Audio Show, I really recommend that you do go. Uh, Chris and I are organising the Del Deluxe Show, which will be next March. Um, but we'll bring you more information about that in the future. So needless to say, I came back from the show with a bit of a lurk. Uh, so I'm going to let Lynn let you know a little bit about what's on the news this week. So, yeah, we've... Apart from the show, there's been a lot of news coming in that's really interesting. And I think some of the best news that we've heard this week, and it's sort of put a lot of people's minds at rest, is the news about audio research. Yeah, that's really good news. Yeah, they've actually got a buyer now. Um, it's the group that own Acora Acoustics, a loudspeaker brand. And I think sort of the real special thing about that is that it's... Um, basically audiophiles and people that are passionate about music and hi-fi that have bought the company. It's not a venture capitalist that's bought it out or anything. Yeah, that's so great news. That's great news for audio research, but more about that in the uh, in the news video that's to follow. Um, other news as well, we've got um, a show going on this weekend in Seattle, the Pacific Audio Fest, and launching there, there's the new audio group Denmark Borison M6 loudspeakers. That's their flagship and their half a million euros worth of speaker. So, yeah, that's going to be quite a thing to hear. Um, there's also been a new pair of Wilson speakers launched this week. And also at the Pacific Audio Fest, there's some really look interesting looking turntable come out that's debuting there from KL Audio. That looks mental, by the way. It the, does uh, look crazy, yes. It's got liquid in the... Um platter by the looks of it, it's direct drive yeah. looks really interesting looks absolutely mental fantastic news for one of the best known names in high-end hi-fi audio research corporation after a couple of months of turmoil arc has a new owner ar tube audio corporation a privately owned delaware based company which includes valerio cora of acora acoustics as a director arc will remain in maple grove minnesota 
and we've been told that private equity and venture capital investment groups are not involved in the new corporation. It is comprised of passionate audiophiles devoted to great music reproduction. The official world premiere of the half a million euro a pair Burson M6 flagship floor standing loudspeakers will take place at the Pacific Audio Fest in Seattle. The M6 features six unique 4.5 inch M series speaker drivers. These drivers are connected in series so that two units work together as bass mid range drivers and the other four units work together as bass speaker drivers. The M6 joins the flagship Borison M range which includes the smaller M3 floor stander and the M1 stand mount. After making its debut at the Northwest Audio Show 2023, the new DS Audio Grandmaster Extreme optical cartridge is now available. It features a combined stylus and cantilever crafted from a single diamond and costs 18,995 for the cartridge or 55,075 pounds with the equalizer for a stage, though it is compatible with any DS Audio equalizer. The MC Pro by Michael Fiddler is a discrete input low frequency crossfeed MC Fonna stage. It uses a new circuit architecture and has been designed for MC cartridges. It costs £650 and is made in the UK. The KL Audio Magnazar turntable incorporates magnetic bearings, liquid stabilisation and a direct drive system. It can accommodate two tone arms, including their own tangential tone arm, and it will launch at the Pacific Audio Fest in Seattle this weekend. Klipsch's UK distributor Henley Audio has announced the UK launch of the Klipsch R40PM and R50PM loudspeakers. As powered speakers, each new model integrates amplification, meaning no need for an external amplifier. Both models also feature a new larger edge-to-edge -edge proprietary Tractrix horn and cost £499 and £599 respectively. After making their debut at High End Munich 2023, the MoFi SourcePoint 8 bookshelf loudspeakers, a more compact version of the SourcePoint 10, are now available. Designed by Andrew Jones, they cost $2,750. The Wilson Audio Sasha 5 combines the essence of its predecessors and trickle-down elements developed for its larger siblings, Alex and Alexia 5. Sasha features proprietary Wilson V material and X material for isolation and resonance control and the Wilson Audio Convergent Synergy Carbon Tweeter. Sasha 5 will retail at just under £54,000 in the UK and $48,900 in the USA. So that's it from us for this week. Um, next week, we've got vi uh, we've got reviews coming from Tellurium Q. Um, something interesting from Orange, which is a bit of a diversion from us, and a really interesting and fantastic looking and sounding amplifier from Java Hi-Fi from the other side of the world. Um, so that's it from us at Hi-Fi Pig. See, See you, you next week. <laughs>